All right, guys, so this is kind of too fun of a project not to uh, document. I did a lot of documenting of this via live stream over the last uh, three or four days, and it's been about two and a half days, a little more, two, out, two days um, worth of work carving on this with chainsaws, uh, burrs, a lot of hand carving on the face, hand carving on the hair, and sanding, and I'm just about to apply a clear coat, and this is such a rewarding process that I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, at least it's satisfying uh, for me to see uh, the carving transform as a result of the uh, thin coat protective finish of tongue oil, which is what I'm going to use on this. Tongue oil is a really durable oil-based finish um, that, let me adjust this, that uh, is just excellent for this type of work. And so I think it's going to be very well suited to this project. Um, I've got some thinner. Let me go get my air hose. I'm going to air hose, the, blow this off quickly. I'm also going to use the chisel to clear out some of the bark that's hanging out in these crevices. Okay, I'm going to use a combination of paint thinner and, as I mentioned before, tongue oil. And the tongue oil I'm using is a walrus oil. Um, it's a really good pure tongue oil. I'm going to use a couple of china bristle brushes. I'm going to have some towels nearby. I like to pull out the bristles that are loose from the brushes. I, used to, I like to have at least a couple of brushes. Uh, at my disposal here, one to apply and one to blot off excess oil. <laughs> Gonna add a little bit of oil first. All right, let the fun begin. And that is a rich, deep, dark color. Color. It's really nice. Really nice. It's even darker than I thought it would be. I've done some oil or some spar finish before, an oil-based finish, on the cedar, and the oil-based finishes do really darken up the, the the juniper a lot more than other finishes do. For better or for worse, but uh, I think it's for better. I think it's a beautiful color that you get from this juniper. Amazing, amazing finish. Uh, carving like this has uh, a lot of crooks and crannies, so you really have to move around the carving and look at it from different vantage points to make sure that you've accessed or coated all of the uh, little hard to reach areas.
look at that soft matte finish on the skin. It definitely brings it to life as it starts to dry. It'll get matte and really emulate the soft skin tone. And that, my friends, is one very effective way of preserving a carving. Now, tongue oil can be used for outdoor applications. It's an incredibly durable finish. In fact, I'm going to put some on the, around the base just because we're here. I might as well protect the surface. Um, it's an incredibly durable finish, uh, water resistant. I'm not going to say that it competes with a spar, a really high quality spar uh, urethane. A spar urethane is probably going to have a little more umph because it's really designed for the outdoors. Uh, but tongue oil is, to my eye, one of the most beautiful finishes. And uh, I think it's going to really protect this carving well. Beautiful. I'm going to let that soak in for a bit and then uh, wipe off the excess with a towel and my dry brush. Okay, here's the carving a day later. Um, I've applied the finish. I've let it soak in. You can see it looks pretty dry. So I'll continue to repeat that process over and over again, uh, maybe four times, maybe even five times over the course of the next four or five days. Applying the finish, letting it sit for 40 minutes dabbing off any excess and then one day's dry time. And that's gonna leave us with um, a nice soft luster, matte, matte finish, not a, not a very shiny finish at all, hopefully. And that's that, so God bless you guys. See ya and have a good day.